Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Starship Home Overview. This title was scheduled to be one of the first quest-free exclusives for the platform and to be fair, after playing it, I don't know if I necessarily see that. Maybe with the texture quality and scale of things, but even our modern headset doesn't seem to be performing well here. So Starship Home is a space gardening simulator game where after getting a mysterious package you're set off straight to space meeting various alien entities and traveling the planets to find and take care of rare plant species. Won't really speak on the concept itself because it's a little bit wild and I don't think it caters necessarily to everyone, though it is a perfect fit for the MR technology. You basically transform your room into a big spaceship that has various control panels, the environment changes depending on where you currently are, and you pretty much manage living creatures and interact with them in a sort of similar way how the sims work. The main con of this game is the performance or pretty much the lack of it. Maybe it's specific to me because I did not see any mention on it whatsoever. But from start to finish I had huge problems with screen tears and the visuals just not keeping up with what was going on, making it a rather unpleasant experience in general. As an exclusive I expected things to be very smooth, but it seems like it's completely otherwise. Regardless, it kinda feels like an entry point to how arguments would work on our platform, putting different things in your space and interacting with them, which this app is all about that, but also I would see it as an idle game of some sort, where after a certain period of time you have to come back and, you know, water the plants, taking care of them. And there are projects like that, but not necessarily in MR, I suppose. Let's go discover some plants. Hello? This is Ron from Stellar Express. We're set to deliver a starship to your, uh, home? It's a pretty large box. So take this locator beacon and place it in an empty, um, large spot on the floor there. Something's going on with the screen tears because every single time I turn my headset, the image just gets screwed. And what's happened here? <laughs> Perfect. Now, stand back, please. Send in the box through in three, two, one. This is a confirmation that the box was successfully delivered to Dr. Wandrum on Terraset 9. Thank you for accepting the delivery. Have a nice day. On the wall? I mean, this is a nice place. Though I'm not sure how it scans my room, cause there are clear boundaries going on. Maybe I should have done it here. <laughs> Oh, this is so awkward. But do you have my starship? It was sent to the correct address, but to the wrong planet. Can you fly it back to me? I need it to research the blight that is threatening the galaxy. Huh? Always good to... Oh. This explorer's guide will come in handy in my search for the eight dreamer plants. 
I don't like the performance at all, like... It's very bad for a mixed reality game. At least I have space to play stuff. The hell is this? Oh, goody. There are labels. Another thing you can't guarantee with lab equipment. That's lovely. <laughs> what? I want to like turn it into the correct way, but see like here it's completely blocked. Please, there's more starship to unbox. Like is my floor not a floor? Okay, well, that's better. Ah, that's the endless watering can I ordered from Aqua 7. It's extremely rare, surprisingly sturdy, too. I wonder if this screen will be visible on the footage. Otherwise, I'll be perceived as crazy. Also, I'm glad I have big walls. <laughs> More? It's a decoration simulator. Okay, well, I'll disregard that. I need to place things in my line of sight, I suppose. Excuse me? So we are somewhere. I'm just curious what the game treats as walls here. That's the last item in the box? Where is my plant? Oh goodness, they left my plant in the airlock. Can you get it out of there? The Ocus Floralis is extremely special. It's the only specimen of its kind that can dream. Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm so bothered by this visual thing. It's a plant game. Please take my plant out of the airlock. Oh. <laughs> Stellar Express didn't even put my precious plant in a pot! This is outrageous! Can you please get one from the storage chamber? And put it where? On my phone panels that I should be putting. <laughs> oh, thank you. My research partner and I have a theory. This plant is one of eight stellar variants, 
and each has just one plant that can dream. We haven't seen it yet, but the potential is too thrilling to ignore. Analyzing these dreamers might uncover a cure for the blight ravaging the galaxy. Research must prevail. Starship ready for launch. Your ship ID is 0CU-LU5. Please remember ship ID for all warranty purposes. Push button on helm to launch. I don't like how it's sitting, otherwise I will put it on the desk. Launch sequence initiated. Activating. Train thrusters primed and ready. Can count that engaged. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Launch successful. Awaiting destination coordinates. Coordinates. Ah, yes. Hmm. I have to calculate the hyperspace path. It's going to take a moment, so in the meantime, make sure the Arcus Floralis is still doing okay. This plant could be the cure to the blight. It looks like the Arcus Floralis has a weed. Just grab it and yank. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Thank you. Now the Arcus Floralis has room to spread its roots. I'm almost done with the calculations. Can you water the plant? The watering can should be, uh, somewhere. I'm not sure even what this game is about, though. Also, there are no settings, so... Important message for all you wanderers out there. The blight, that eerie silence creeping its way across the galaxy like a shadow in the spacey night. Well, it's on the move. I don't know where it's coming from, and I sure as space dust don't know where it's heading. But what I do know, I don't want to get too cozy with the blight. See, safe out there. <laughs> I like that you can interact with it. Pardon? I've calculated the hyperspace path to Terraset 9. I'll send it over now. Encoded interstellar hyperspace path detected. Ah, great. Now. Open the star chart, so you can get the ship back to me. I need to find the other seven dreamer plants. Uh oh. Decoding. Decoding. Decoded. Hyperspace path added to star chart. You should be able to see my home planet now, right next to Earth. You see, Terraset 9 vibrates in a slightly different wavelength than Earth, so it makes sense if you haven't seen us in the night sky before. But what are those shapes? Maybe similar to mine? There should be an energy fruit in the storage chamber. Do I fit him this? Oh, I guess put that. Now is push that lever. 
Reaper forward, and you'll have my ship back in no time. Travel sequence initiated. Warranty voided. Oh, never mind that. Let's get this starship home. I have the overall feeling that you're in the starship though. It's just if the performance would not be as rough then it would be a completely different situation. It's also like the environment changes colors and stuff. I'm on my way to meet you in orbit. In the meantime, I'm sending over my bot to check on the Orcus Floralis. Once fully grown, the plant might reveal the origin of the blight. Object requesting access to airlock. <laughs> access granted. Please remove item from airlock. And who are you? I'm getting the feed from the bot now. The Arcus Floralis is indeed in fine shape. Great job! Oh. The fertilizer levels are a little low. Could you please push the red button on the terrarium and uh, deposit some goop onto the plant? Maybe I even learned how to take care of plants because they all die for me. This fertilizer critter was rescued by my dear colleague Jeff from the planet Arcus. Ah, fresher than the morning dew on a squishberry petal. Hmm, can you make sure the eye is still functioning? Just put your hand in front of the plant. Not too close, though. This isn't right at all. The data is all wrong. It looks like even the Orcus Floralis is blighted! How? So he's traveling like around my space. I don't know what's going on. The connection to the starship is unstable. But that doesn't look good. Oh no! Quickly! The starship! Can you realign the polarity? Something is out there! Get out of there! Connection with caller lost. <laughs> Whoa! Yes, we need to go. Or not. <laughs> oh, well, Andrim, I'm getting massive blight signatures from your planet. Are you okay? Wait, you're not Wandrim? But you've got his AUKUS uh eye tulip plant? It's been blighted! Oh, this is not good. You gotta bring that to me ASAP. I might have something that'll bring it back. Uh, come! Encoded interstellar hyperspace path detected. 
Decoding. Decoding. Decoded. Hyperspace path added to star chart. And we need to insert the plant, right? It's such a weird concept, but can't really judge it anyhow. <laughs> I'm also wondering to who this is scattering to. Name's Jeff, by the way. I kind of crashed here. <laughs> A laundromat had been searching for that eye tulip plant for years. He's pretty sure it's a fabled dreamer plant. It might lead us directly to the blight. Find me on the surface. I think I have something that might be able to help Wandrum's plant. There should be a button on your helm to open your planet scanner. Finding my crash site is gonna be pretty easy. <laughs> it's the big smoking crater. Smells like nachos. To press the button. <laughs> Alright, well, I need to stop anyways. I mean, this could be cute and all, if the performance would not just be completely gutter. Like, since I started recording, I'm just having screen tears, pixels jumping around, and low resolution levels. The actual concept is a tad weird. It's some sort of a gardening simulator with cosmic aspects and space traveling. Maybe that would be more geared towards younger audience or this kind of job simulator realm. But I would first focus on the performance itself because it's really bad. The actual like space utilization and physically putting things on your walls and environment. It's nice. There are some limits to it. I don't know if that's like getting blocked by the actual game or something's happening with my boundary but then the app didn't ask me to recalibrate so I mean I can't say anything about it so either way this is not for me there is some content to pursue though I would first work on the smoothness and pleasurable experience rather than anything else at this point